qualifies a subject matter expert would remain uh, a subjective uh, topic and will be subjected to several interpretations. The model that is used uh, for this uh, introduction referred to as the wheel of knowledge and expertise considers different perspectives but also different levels of sophistication, rigor and understanding. It is impossible when referring to what a subject matter expert is, not to emphasize the importance of possessing the right academic qualifications. It goes therefore without saying that a person who is qualified is a person who has significant knowledge in the field uh, that they are associated with. A medical doctor therefore must attend university and learn about medicine for several years before they are certified or qualified. In addition, a subject matter expert must be recognized by the professional bodies uh, with whom they are associated. That will be the body that certifies the practice, the skills and the expertise insofar as the profession is concerned. So, academic qualification is the knowledge, professional qualifications is the skill and uh, expertise from an applied perspective. The third thing is the learning and development accumulated over the years and subject matter experts are expected to have extensive experience not just in being in one place for a long time but rather through the diverse roles they have assumed the different levels of seniority and the track record of achievement the latter part is perhaps the best qualification for saying that experience is valuable and, uh, and not necessarily measured by the longevity of a person in an organization. Uh, the fourth level is uh, the breadth and depth of exposure in terms of gaining richness in different organizational contexts and different industrial environment. This is very, very critical because the insight uh, and the different dynamics that can be observed or understood will serve a, a purpose for continuing the journey and working in new environments. Subject matter experts are also individuals who are recognized because of their name and reputation. So they tend to work with prestigious organizations or they tend to uh, uh, have membership of uh, prestigious associations internationally. By the same token, subject matter experts would be individuals who have been recognized by the leadership of organizations that they have helped, by the professional bodies, and by global associations. Lastly, insofar as the wheel of knowledge and expertise is concerned, the top of the very top of subject matter experts are individuals who are, have a mastery of knowledge and expertise and who can craft and develop their own noble ideas 
uh, and pioneering thinking for others to use as a reference. So they become de facto good role models.